Hello students, so today we are going to discuss the solution of fourth test paper of AIATS that is All India Cast Test Series for Medical. We will be discussing the question of zoology. So let's begin with our very first question. Question 136. In the figure given below, percentage composition of biomolecules in living tissue is shown. Phospholipids are likely to be obtained in the fraction labeled you know that this cell they aggregate and form tissue so we have to first know what are the various constituents which make up a cell cell is made up of water protein carbohydrate lipids nucleic acid and ions and you all know that phospholipids they are conjugate lipid with phosphate group so phospholipid and the phospholipids are likely to be obtained in the lipid fraction so water it makes up about 70 to 90 percent of the total cellular mass so the major proportion of cell is made up of water so k here is water followed by protein which makes up about 10 to 15 percent of the cell so y here is protein then there is nucleic acid which make up about 5 to 7 percent of cell so Z here is nucleic acid then carbohydrate which make up 3% of cell so W here is carbohydrates then the lipids which make up about 2% of cell so L here is lipids followed by ions which make up about 1% of cells so J here is ions so phospholipids are likely to be obtained in the fraction labeled as L that is lipids making option 4 as answer for our question so let's proceed to our next question that is question 137 which says the acid soluble pool produced during acid analysis of living animal tissue would contain all of the following except so first we should know what is acid analysis of living animal tissue in order to know about the chemical composition of living tissue animal tissue is analyzed by various method and one of the method is acid analysis in acid analysis the living tissue is grinded with trichloroacetic acid as a result a thick slurry is formed then that slurry is strained by cheese cloth or cotton cloth and as a result we obtain two fraction so during acid analysis we obtain two fraction one is filtrate and another one is Retentate. Filtrate, also known as acid soluble pool. And this acid soluble pool contains molecules of small molecular weights like amino acid, sugar, amino acid, sugar nucleotides etc while the retentate also known as acid insoluble pool acid insoluble pool contain molecules having large molecular weights like polysaccharides proteins nucleic acid nucleic acid and lipids all these three macromolecules they have molecular weight more than 10,000 Daltons except lipids which have molecular weight less than 800 Dalton. In the question it is asked the acid soluble pool produced during acid analysis of living animal tissue would contain all of the following except. So the acid soluble pool will, would contain lysine which is an amino acid, GTP, nucleotide, fructose 
and DNA. DNA is a nucleic acid, so it is present in acid insoluble pool, not in acid soluble pool. So the correct answer for this question is option four. That is DNA. Question one thirty eight. All of the following are primary metabolites except primary metabolites are those compound which play an important role in basic or we can say primary metabolic processes of living organism like respiration, photosynthesis, etc. So let's see our various option. Option first that is glucose. Glucose is an important uh, primary metabolite as it is the primary energy source for our body. So this is an example of primary metabolite. Option 2 that is ATP. ATP that is adenosine triphosphate and it is energy currency of the cell. So it is an example of primary metabolite. Option 3 that is fructose. Fructose is also an example of primary metabolite. Option 4 that is carotenoids. Carotenoids are an example of secondary metabolite not primary metabolite. So the correct answer for this question is option 4. That is question 139. We say identify the biomolecule given below and select the correct option in its context. So the biomolecule which is given below is glucose. So we have to select the correct option regarding glucose. Option first says it gives a positive test with ninhydrin. Ninhydrin test is usually done to detect amino acid present in a solution, not glucose. So this cannot be an answer since ninhydrin test is used to detect amino acid. Option 2. In polymeric form, it gives rise to unbranched glycan called cellulose with beta 1,4 linkages. This option is correct regarding glucose because cellulose is an unbranched polymer of glucose in which the glucose molecules are linked by beta 1,4 linkage and you all know that cellulose is found in cell wall of plant. So option 2 is correct regarding glucose. Option 3 says in presence of Benedict solution it fails to give a reddish brown color. This option is incorrect regarding glucose. You know that all reducing sugar they give positive Benedict test and glucose is a reducing sugar since it has a free aldehyde group and as a result it can reduce cupric ion to cuprous ion because of the presence of free aldehyde group glucose can reduce cupric Cupric ion to cuprous ion and give positive Benedict test. Means it produces reddish brown color. So option 3 is incorrect regarding glucose. Option 4 stating it is fruit sugar which is naturally the sweetest saccharide. This option is incorrect regarding glucose because fruit sugar is fructose. Glucose is grape sugar. Glucose is grape sugar. So the correct option regarding glucose is option 2. That is question 140 which says the simplest amino acid is. So the simplest amino acid is glycine in which the I group is represented by hydrogen. So if we see the structure of glycine it is one carboxylic acid group attached to the alpha carbon. Then there is amino group. Then there is hydrogen. And R group here is represented by hydrogen. So this is the structure of glycine, which is the simplest amino acid. Let's proceed to our next question. Mm -hmm.